All right, it's Mind Matter here. We have a new robot just showed up today. If you go ahead and get a close up on the top label, maybe you can see Colorado made. So we like that, locals. Probably can see what the, uh, what we're dealing with here. Get into it. We unbox every printer like this. So. So we have instructions on how to unpack. That's great. A lot of times I just start pulling off the stuff that isn't the printer. Okay, it actually gets into how to set it up and how to do the how to do all the things. Okay, so that's great. A little manual. Page one, how to get it out of the box. We can figure that out. Alright, so Come in here a little bit so you can see inside. This is the extruder assembly. You can see it's 3D printed, mostly assembly. Bearings, adjustment knobs. Pretty good printing overall. Hopefully, our prints come out like that. Should be good. Ooh, nice herring. All right. Feel was getting jealous. Don't worry, girl, you're still valuable. She's tall. Her Z rod goes all the way up. So, we got a couple of miscellaneous parts, some stickers. We know people like stickers around here. Our SD card, a sample Octoprint. It's very nice. Our half Bowden tube setup, if I recall correctly. Just make sure it doesn't get caught up in the gantry. It's nice. So we got a packing list. It's all signed off and tested by various people. Christmas Eve, they got you working Christmas Eve. Come on, Lovesbach. Christmas Eve, 12, 24, 14. Checked by Rahim. I don't know. That's sad. You guys shouldn't be working Christmas Eve. I'm sorry you were working Christmas Eve for nerds. But I'm glad you're here today. Yeah, this is great. Perfect. Now I know who to call and complain to when something doesn't work correctly. Got our beast with power supply. All right, looking pretty good. I like the don't get shock bulkhead. That's always nice when you can't get electrocuted. We got print space. All right, so that takes care of the top layer. Fun. So let's remove the bag. Wow. I mean, I might just rock that out to the clear. Get my pre-fade in here. Let's see what we got going on. <laughs> wow, some like actual pliers. Okay, bed scraper. I like. Back in here, we got. I've never needed any fluids from my 3D printer before. I don't know why I would. One three zero. Oh. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe for acetone. I guess. Are you making I your mean, acetone slurry or something? That's, that's cool and everything. And then, wow, not splurging on the toolkit at all. Wow. I'm just gonna actually do a whole unboxing just for this, maybe a separate video. So you got the nice fold out tecton. I'd put it there, but it's so heavy, it's just gonna fall off. So I'm gonna put that in my back pocket and hope it won't pants me. Then moving on, we've got a full little, wow, micro wire brush for cleaning the extruder wheel, I'm assuming. I already know what I'm going to use all these for. Picking stuff out, you got your calipers, just for quick measurements, nice little razor blade and some tweezers. This looks like every tool we had to buy with all the other printers that didn't come with it, except we don't even have this, so this is a first for us and definitely necessary. Thanks for that, guys, or girls, or whoever, peoples. Good. 
my bag. Soft foam, piece of cardboard. All right, so now instead of just jerking out of this box, I'm actually going to go to the manual because you know. Mm-hmm. See, it's a good thing I went and looked, right? While step three, while keeping the printer in the box, pick up the black aluminum frame. I'm assuming on this side. Maybe, no. Don't want to get it wrong. Okay, yeah, they want me to pick it up like this. In the box. Okay. Alright. So that seems to be a nice handle here. Just going to go ahead and work with that. That seems to be the action they were looking for. Just put the game thing moving a little bit there. There. I'm actually going to move this to the floor, move this over there. I don't know how uh, user maintainable this connection is, but uh, I guess we'll find out once I break one. <laughs> Step four, use your knee to free the remaining foam. Some engineering sense tells me to go something like this. Uh, we're going to look at the manual, do the proper assembly, and then check back with the full All right, we're back with the fully assembled TAS 4. I haven't turned it on yet. Uh, just looking through what we thought was the manual, and then we found later on there's the actual manual manual. Which, wow. Software, G code. I mean, they could probably just sell this as its own thing. This is some pretty generic knowledge that people should know in general. Anyway, so that's great. So I'll just see stuff like this. Um, love the American company. We're using the uh, Precision 3D Filament 3.0. This is also American company, so we like to keep it local. Anyway, so we turn on for the first time, and fingers crossed, no smokes. Well, so far so good, we'll do a print and check back in. Alright, just threw a layer of tape on there, made a slight adjustment to the Z height, and we're off to the races. And races indeed, this thing is just hustling this first layer out faster than anything we've used before as a default setting. Uh, we'll see how fast we can take this baby. It seems like it's uh, pretty smooth, pretty well constructed. Some parts are printed, some parts are, uh, looks like laser cut. There's a few little wood bits in here. This thing's a mixed media piece of art. Uh, we'll see what we could do with it. We'll check back, check back in when this octopus is done making.
Well, we're back after our first two successful prints. The first one came on the ST card, the Rock Octopus. Uh, for whatever reason, the fan, the primary fan, wasn't activating on that slice, and the back came out uh, really blobby. <clears throat> so recognizing that, uh, we ran and ran a second file, the regular Octopus. It had the same lack of fan, uh, so we just activated it, thankfully, through the control panel. You can go in and press tune and turn the fan on. So that's nice having the onboard to kind of override uh, bad slices to begin with. So anyway, so we got this uh, cute little thing out and we're about to throw our first production part on here and uh, see what we can get out of it. Notice the fan is already on. Uh, so I went ahead and put that into the pre-G code uh, in my slicer. So it's not that difficult. We're gonna get the best prints possible. So looking forward to it. I just wanna say thanks guys. It's a pretty well-built machine. We've only used it for a few hours a day and we've already pretty impressed. Uh, we obviously deal with a lot of Various technologies, there's, there's another 10 printers in there. We deal with a lot of various technologies and it's uh, it's easy to spot uh, quality pieces. I uh, love these connectors, this is a really great idea. Nice blend of uh, mixed, like I said before, mixed media art piece, it's nice. Uh, you got metal, printed parts, extruded, you know, the best tool for the job. And that's what we're about down here and that's what we like to emulate and that's what we like to see when we buy pieces. So, great job, we'll be, uh, we'll be looking at more of these in the future. Thanks a lot guys.